What's up guys? Hey, listen, we got a Echo PE, which stands for Power Edger, and it's a 280, it's just rubbed off. Uh, I've got the plug out of this thing, and uh, the darn thing is just locked up. And we're gonna let that WD-40 go right down in that engine. Let that soak, and then I'm gonna put some right on top of the piston here. <laughs> it acts like it's got compression without the plug even being in. Wow, that's crazy. I let this thing soak in WD-40 for a while, and it's still locked up. I can't hardly pull it through, but if we look, that exhaust port... It's got a little carbon, but look at the piston. It's not that bad. It's got one little score, but check out the, the ring grooves, the oil grooves in the piston. This piston is probably still good. That one little scuff mark right there in the center has me concerned, but man, if the piston is that good looking on the exhaust side, then I'm gonna go ahead and pull this jug so we can figure out why in the Hades is this thing locking up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, uh, the engine cover off of this thing and I'm gonna check one thing before we deem this thing dead is the ignition coil. I have seen the ignition coil get loose and rub the flywheel. So we're gonna check the gap on the coil and make sure that's not the issue because it sure does feel like something's rubbing. Nope, not the ignition coil. This thing is still locked up. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and pull the jug on this thing. I'm curious now. Yep, something is literally keeping, you should not have this much trouble getting this jug off. It should just slide right off. Holy moly, look at the intake side of this piston. Look at the piston skirt. It's dented in. I've never seen that before. Check that out. What is going on here? It's definitely got some... Something bashed that piston skirt in. The bearing's good. The wrist pin bearing is good. Something got in there. While this piston was on its way down, I guarantee something got in the uh, intake port. I'm going to have to do a little more digging to figure out what in the world went wrong here is the cylinder 
here is the intake side of said cylinder. It doesn't look to be damaged. Yes, it does right there. But why? Something had to get sucked down this intake tract. As you can tell though, that prevent plate or this slobber plate, look how bent that is. This is from dropping the trimmer on the air filter side. So let's look at that air filter. I don't see Now that sh attaching screw is bent a little bit. And I don't see anything wrong there. Let's pull this prevent plate off and take a look. Well, I don't see anything except for it being bent. Anything wrong with this? A lot of times I've seen that nut get unwelded from the back side of this plate and get sucked down in whenever you take the air filter off but this is not the case let's go a little bit deeper looking at everything that we can possibly look at let's go ahead and take the manifold off it's just two screws let's take a look down the intake core just not seeing any damage except right there where that piston skirt it's got a little bit of a lip right there in that intake port Let's see if I can get a better shot of that is that right there guys I need your help I'm stumped I do not know what caused this piston to uh, this piston skirt to crack and expand what happened was whatever got in there hit right on the corner right here and right on the corner because I can feel it uh, oops, oops, uh, and I can feel it right here on the bottom side of this intake port I can feel it's really it's rough where whatever went through here and caught the bottom edge of that piston and now I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss I mean could have somebody stuck a screwdriver possibly in through the port while the engine was running to I don't know to inflict pain on the engine it's very possible i don't know why somebody would want to do that unless i just didn't want to use it i i don't know it's definitely something some for something foreign went through the intake and caught the bottom edge of that piston right there and what happens whenever that happened it expanded this piston this way and made it grab you can see where it was rubbing real heavy right here on the cylinder on both sides. I'm stumped. Boy, that trimmer is in a mess. Hey, if this content helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good day.